we try to use the formula now for the instantaneous rate just at that point. Let's try it. Well, rate equals, now remember what the formula is. The formula, I remind you, is that rate equals the change in distance divided by the change in time. OK, now at this instant in time, let me put this, let me put this right over here so you can see that. At that very instant in time, at that very second I crossed the sign, what was my change in distance at that very instant? Zero, because it's that moment I crossed that sign. There's no change in distance. So this would be zero on top. And I divide through by the change in time. Well, what was the change in time at an instant? Well, there is no change in time at an instant. It's zero. There's no time change. So I divide by zero. Well, zero over zero. Whoops. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Big problem. Now, I want to come back to all this, but I want to, first of all, just show you why 0 over 0 can hurt. OK? So here we go. 0 over 0. Let me tell you the sad story about 0 over 0. Now, in fact, in fact one of the, the people on the staff thought it would be cute to actually have sort of an edible 0 over 0. So they took me two donuts from the, from the last little thing here. And you see 0 over 0. But this is bad. This is bad, and I don't want you ever to think about 0 over 0 as being something edible and tasty. I'm not even going to bite into this, folks, because you don't want to bite into 0 over 0. And I'm going to show you why. This is why you don't want to bite into 0 over 0. What does it equal? Well, on the one hand, someone might come along and say, hey, whenever you have 0 divided by anything, well, that always equals 0. So maybe 0 over 0 equals 0. OK, but now on the other hand, someone might come along and remember that if you take a number and divide by 0, well, it's undefined. So someone might say, well, wait a minute. Anything divided by 0 is undefined. And someone else, some other person might say, wait a minute. I remember if you have anything over itself, you can cancel. And you're just left with 1. Well, so that would seem to indicate that 0 equals 1 equals undefined. Well, new. No. <laughs> this is a big problem. I'm going to, oh, and there, there I was riding my bike again, by the way. There I go. Big problem. Big problem. You cannot divide by 0 over 0. 0 over 0 is not a number. So this is wrong, and this is wrong. It's just not a number. OK, so now if you think back to what we, how we got to this, how did we get to 0 over 0, by the way? You might have forgotten, but I'm going to remind you because I happen to remember. We got to 0 over 0 because we were trying to find the instantaneous rate of change right at this point. And what we saw was there was zero change in distance, zero change in time, and so we got something that's garbage. So you can see that there's a little bit more to this than just rate equals change in distance over change in time. Because if we just try to plug in, okay, what do we see? Well, we get sort of garbage. So we can't just plug in. We can't just plug in. We have to do something else. And let me tell you right now what it is we're going to do. What we're going to do is, instead of trying to plug in the 0 over 0, what we're going to do is we're going to inch up to it. We're just going to inch up to it really, really slowly. And we're going to see if we can see what the answer is without actually plugging in the 0 over 0. But so on the one hand, you might say, well, gee, there's more to calculus, which is good, because remember, Half of the course is just to answer that first question. If I answered it right for you right now, you'd have been done, and we'd be done, and we'd be finished. So no, 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 no. So it's a little bit more to it than just plugging in. But we have to celebrate what we can do. We can't answer this question yet, finding instantaneous uh, rate of change. But let's just take sort of you know solace in the fact that we can find average velocities and average rates. So we can do something, and we need to celebrate that because that's going to be important for figuring out how to do the slightly more interesting problem, which still remains unanswered. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually start to build up some mathematical ideas that are going to allow us to come to grips with this notion of plugging in the 0 over 0. Without doing that, instead we're going to actually inch up 
to the 0 over 0. So that's going to be what we do next. But first, why don't you try some of these things on your own and see how you fare. OK, see you soon.